Hi, everyone. We're back. Hi. Well, welcome in. I'm Leanne. I'm Jeannie. And we're the Loose, Loose Thread, Thread Stitchers. Stitchers. Uh, we've been gone a little over a month, I think, six weeks, maybe. Just having too much fun. That's all I can say. Um, Today is the last day of September. Yeah. 2022. Well, and we have colorful leaves are just starting. It's kind of late. Um, I'm throwing plants away. I know everybody loves fall. I'm kind of, I love spring. Oh, but the crisp mornings. I know, but you get those in the spring too. I like spring because yeah. of the flowers. I love flowers, and right now I'm throwing them all away, so it's kind of sad. It's kind of sad. But then you get out your pumpkins and your mums and yeah, your Yeah, I know, but then you throw them and... away, and then Minnesota gets pretty dull and snowy. Yeah, then it's and... stitching time. Yeah, it is. That's why I'm happy I'm a quilter and cross-stitcher, because then it keeps your winter occupied. Um, today is Friday, September 30th. This is episode number nine, believe it or not. Um, okay, so we had a question. A lady wanted to know a little bit about my turtle tank. Um, <laughs> yeah, we'll go, um, I have six turtles in here. Um, I rescue turtles. I've been rescuing turtles for a very long time, many, many years. People bring me sick turtles. I was going to say, and rescuing means what? Um, I get sick turtles. Or people, uh, lately I've been getting them from people going in nursing homes, um, which is kind of sad. But um, Okay, I have six turtles here. I have two more turtles in a different room, so I have a total of eight turtles. This tank is eight feet long. It takes up the whole wall. I had it specially made. It's acrylic. Um, it's eight feet long. It goes back to the wall three feet, so it's a rectangle of eight by three. It's 20 inches high from the top of the base to here it's the bottom well if i say bottom people think oh okay bottom, bottom of the tank top bottom of the base of the yeah. okay and then underneath yeah i have a biological system and that's kind of tricky my son helped me build the, the bottom with tubing and everything it keeps the tank really clean it kind of operates like a pond i have fish in the bottom um that eat you know the junk the in the scavengers. bottom. They kind of help to keep. I have a pleckle that started out like this little, and he's like this big. You might see him swim by while we're filming. Uh, uh, and then I have four um, Indian star tortoises. They're in another room, too. So um, they, these guys go out in a pool in the summertime, which I'm now in the process of taking down for winter. But they're in an eight foot by four foot pool outside most of the summer because sun is really important. No, you do that daily? Yes, every morning they go out. Unless it's like a really bad storm or something, I won't put them out. But they come in every night, too, because even though I have a cover on it, I don't want raccoons or something to get them. Um, so they, they even in the winter, they're in 80 degrees and sunny. So And usually the tank, the motor is... It has a, a sound to it, so the yeah. turns it off. Yeah, this. the... the um, the pumps there's two pumps and they're running and they do have kind of, they have a hum to them i don't notice it anymore but i'm sure people notice it when they come downstairs but there's two motors and it shoots water in on both corners and then it sucks water out and it filters it and um there's two albino you can see the albinos right now there's actually three albinos in there those yellow turtles are albinos there's two western painted turtles in there and there's a, a pink bellied side neck swimming right Behind my shoulder here. There's the third albino. Did you talk about the basking? Um, there's two basking spots. You see those white tubes? Those are the legs for the basking. There's a basking spot right here. And then there's a basking spot over there. These two lights are UVB lights. They, they're like sunlight. So they, they go up there and bask all the time. And... Um, turtles need to be dry for part of the day. Otherwise they get shell rot. That's one of the... Um, between respiratory infections and shell rot, most of the time, those are the two things I get sick turtles. People bring me sick turtles because of those two things. Um, I don't know what else to say about except for I love turtles. <laughs> People think I'm nuts. Jeannie just shakes her head it's, sometimes. It's, 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 you know, sometimes it's... TMI, but <laughs> she, it's interesting. She knows way more about turtles than she ever wanted to know. So that's our turtle subject for the day. I hope that helps. I mean, 
I don't know if people want to know more I could do a separate video and show you them if that's something you're interested in I can do that I just figure this is a cross stitch channel not a turtle channel and I would talk about turtles all day trust me so I'm gonna shut up <laughs> Okay, um, we'd like to thank Sarah from So Me Sarah. She's in England, right? No, uh, Ireland. She was Irish. Talk about an accent. Yeah, and she mentioned us on her video, so that was very, very nice. And she loves the turtle swimming in the background. It's very relaxing. And I've, I've heard comments from other people, too, saying they're very relaxing. So thank you, Sarah, so much for mentioning us. That was very, very nice. Thank you. And go watch her channel. She's very interesting, too. So... Um, it's it's neat to see people from different countries. I just find doing the same stuff we do. Yeah, and then like Australia, they just showed they're getting their spring flower, their blooms yeah. are starting to bloom, and I'm like, oh, ours are going away. <laughs> okay, so we'll get into cross stitch, and of course, Jeannie has some FFOs. Don't you? No. Oh, okay. Then. Well, all you kiddo, it's all okay. you. So September sampler, right? So I did Prairie Schooler Autumn Samplers. I did the Autumn one. I don't know if it has a separate name, but it's the Air. Oh, yeah, it doesn't say. That one. That's very beautiful. It says, wind is rising and the air is wild with leaves. So that was that. And then it was also um, Santa September. So my version of it, I did Ho Ho Ho. And that is by Needle Bling Designs. Oh, these are finished? Well, I was doing September. I know. Okay. Go ahead. All right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's my Santa one. That's very, very cute. Okay. Sorry. Now we'll get over on to the finishes. But aren't those samplers? No. That's oh. other stuff. Okay. So you can keep going. Okay. <laughs> All right. So um, Prairie Co Primrose Cottage Stitches, August 9 patch. I love these, these nine you patches. Like those. You do a lot of I do. And so here oh, is that's cute it. that's fabric. Mine's okay. Be. Oh, nice. So. Everybody likes bees. I'm not a fan of bees. I know. But there was, there was bee skep and there was right. bees on it. So I, I get it. <laughs> and then this one here, pumpkins. That is petal pusher. Just, I just like these uh, colors in this. Yeah, that's very Isn't that cute. pretty? Yes, it's very pretty. Well, that's your green, like for your kitchen. Yeah. And then it had kind of a bonus chart in there, too. This oh, that's little cute. cake plate with a pumpkin. Oh, that's nice. And I have a green cake plate like that with a pumpkin on it on my dining room table. <laughs> So, so you had to make it. I did. I it, it, Yeah, it was. And then Biddy Barnes by Annie B's Folk, Folk Art. It's, there is the spring and summer. And then there is the autumn and winter. So here we have spring and summer. And we have autumn and winter. Nice. So pretty much the called for floss, and I use um, fabric I had. I mean, they're just little pieces, so they're mostly scraps. No, no, yeah, because we go shopping a lot of times, there's scrap baskets, and we'll get scraps. I'll do this quick too for wool. It's um, strawberries by um, Buttermilk Basin. So there was six, six enough to do six strawberries. It was a kit. Yeah. 
Uh, I added the tops. What's on the inside? Fiber. Oh, okay. fiber fill. Uh, polyfill. Okay. So they're almost round. Yeah. yeah. We were wondering if they, I, well, I was questioning if they were going to be dimensional being that they were flat. So I got them in a cute little bowl. Oh, that's so cute. So those are my FFOs and some others, but yeah. So now we can go on to finishes. I have none. Keep going. <laughs> this is Jeannie's segment of the show. <laughs> this one I just finished last night. You want this? Oh, I have this one too. Um, it is Quaker Pumpkin. Oh, that's pretty. By the Stitcherhood. Stitcherhood. Um, I didn't get it pressed because I just finished it last night. But there it oh, is. Oh, that's very cute. Kind of fun to... Yeah, I like the swirlies on the top. Uh, yeah. Um, our son lives in Fort Myers. So kind of watching hurricane updates, I needed something that I didn't have to think so much. So <laughs> being one color, I could do that. So he's okay. He was right in... Yeah, in the eye nice. of everything, and uh, phone and texting has been kind of sporadic, but it's kind of, he's okay. So, yeah. So now then, I was doing, um, this is Halloween Stitch Along with Corn Husker State Stitchers by Primrose Cottage. And this is mine. Oh, that's cute. That's very, very cute. I did it on 18 count Fortnite fabrics called Splashy. And I changed up just a couple of the colors because I didn't have what they called for. And I wanted to get started. <laughs> so. Oh, and you finished it. I finished it. It oh, is that's um, so nice. Salute to Abigail by Black. Bird Designs, and I substituted my dad's name and his birth and death dates in there. I just love it. That's beautiful. Wow. So now I got to find another Blackbird project to do for this weekend. For Blackbird weekend. Yeah. I'm sure there's a plethora. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you won't have a problem, Jeannie. <laughs> Here is, oh, I don't have it with, oh, yes, I do. This is October 9 patch. Oh, cute. I really like those. You just whiz right through those. Well, this I took when we went for a day of stitching in Iowa. Oh. It's 14 count. It's, you know, easy to stitch and talk. And it's on hand-dyed country grain, Ada. And then this one here, I kind of, I'm getting anxious to fully finish. It, it, and I never know how to pronounce. Hinzeit? Heinzeit? That yeah. must, is that German? Stat Turkey. H-I-N-Z-E-I-T. Oh, but isn't it? Look at oh, that. that's beautiful. Look at that turkey. Isn't wow. Isn't that fun? Yeah. I mean, not much color there. No, but, but that's... And even look at the pumpkin, how many colors are in the yeah. pumpkin. That turkey is amazing. Wow. I did that on... It was 18 count something I had. <laughs> that's a cute name. <laughs> 18 count something I had. Yeah. So that's it for my, my finishes. So then we go on to whips. You want to speak? <laughs> Do I want to speak? Um, I've been doing whip co. So um, one of the whips I have is um, for this month for September is the Smith Sampler, and Ooh. this is the second time I picked it up this in the, in my whip co round. Um, and I only had this is where I am. I only had a couple of those done, like a couple of these in that corner star. So I've gotten these and these, and then this middle thing done. 
Um, I really enjoy it. It's on, it's all silk floss. It's, there's dinky dyes in here and classic Colorworks Belle Soir. Um, and I really like, I don't, my threads are all, doesn't help I have a cat either. Um, but those are the color, and the colors are beautiful. But I mean, the border is very, I mean, if you look at that border, there's yeah, it's three to four solid. different colors and it's solid. Oh, those so, are your teepees. Yeah, those are my teepees. I call them my teepees. But those are all the way around the whole. Sampler. And how big is it going to be? Um, it is going to be. Well, it's one ninety three by two seventy three. It's a stitch count. So you do it on forty counts. So like eight by ten. Um, it says nine, nine by ten. And nine and three quarters by thirteen and three quarters finished. And I, I am doing it on, it's, um, you could do it on 40 or 46. I'm doing it on 40 count vintage metal rule. Um, so I, um, and tonight will be the last night that I will be working on it. Oh, don't and, you hate that? Yeah, I do actually. So I, that's why I'm kind of thinking, I don't think I'm going to do Whipco next year because I want to keep, sometimes when I'm. Well, could you do it? I don't know how you would do it with just one a month instead of two. Yeah, I don't know either. I'll think about it. And the other one for this month is my Celtic Band Sampler. Um, it is by Homespun Sampler. And this one is really long and big. And this is um, as far as I've gotten on it. So I just started another roll. These in the middle are the tricky things. Those took me, those middle little things, wow. Those took me a while. Because I kept doing it wrong and I'd have to rip it out. And What there, count is that? This is, I think this is 32 count. Because I'm using two threads. I think it's 32 count and it's on um, ex exemplar. I think it's exemplar. Vintage Exemplar, I think that's what it's called. I don't know if I have. Okay. Does vintage mean it's modeled? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, because I, I think there's an Exemplar that's not modeled. So this is, um, I like this one too. Mm -hmm. I like looking at it. <laughs> I do, I just like looking at it too. Very pretty. And then, um... In this little bag that I just made, I showed it last time. I started, because I have extra days in the month. And this Keeper of the Pins by Brenda Gervais, you see everybody doing it. I'm doing, I'm working on that one. I just love oh, that one. That have a, a, oh, the uh, Sewing Bird. Yeah, it's the Sewing Bird. And this is on 30, Is it, I think this is on 40 count vintage country. They're all on it. Um, vintage Country Mocha. And I it calls for 36, but I'm doing 40. And I've got the bird, and the bird's kind of cool because you use for the wings, you do two threads, and you use just the darker part. It's mountain mist is the color. So, so that, you gotta cut, cut up your... Yeah, you gotta cut up your mountain mist and find the darker pieces, and then you double it so it sticks out. So the two wings, upper and lower, you can't see it, but when you look at it, you can see that it sticks up. But it's also darker, so. So I worked on that for part of my extra days. And then I made this bag, my Halloween, one of my Halloween Ooh. bags. I like this bag. This bag was fun. We got this when we were shopping. <laughs> Just one of the times. <laughs> one of the times. Um, and this is called Trick or Treat by Cottage Garden. And you can do the whole thing, but I'm I'm gonna make them into like ornaments, and I'm working on the kitty, of course. Why wouldn't I be? I have kitties, but that's what she looks like so far. And I I laugh when I'm working on this because I think of Lady and the Tramp from the Disney movies, where the grandma's there to take care of the baby while the parents leave, and those two Siamese cats pop out of the basket, and they go, "We are Siamese, if you please." Because their eyes are all slanted in this. So I keep singing that song while I'm stitching this. Um, and this is on, um, it's 40 count oatmeal by Fiber on a Whim. And it's 
there it's kind of a goldy tan, but there's some green shooting through it too. You can see that, yeah. But this if this is 40 count, this is the tightest fabric I've ever worked on. Oh. So if this is 40 count, I'll be amazed. I should really figure it out because it's very tight. Thankfully, I have very so was good... it 40 count before it was dyed? Maybe, because boy, it's small. Um, and there's all the nice Halloween colors. No, is that for all of them in that pattern? Yeah. For yep. all nine? Yep. Yeah. So this you might not small. use all that on here. No, I won't. And I don't know. I got to see how big it comes up. Because I'd love to add the spider webs. But if you're going to hang it on a tree, I don't know if it gets too big. Uh, I'll do the cat and the pumpkin and then I'll kind of see how big it is. It, it's probably going to be pretty small. So I might be able to add the webs and make it square. I don't know. Or, but if you leave it as is and do it as a circle, you yep. could do that finish like Bonna did on the stick. Oh, yeah. In the last, in the, um. Yeah, like the lollipop thing? Yeah. Yeah, you could. I could. Yeah, we'll see. But that, this has been fun too. So those are what I did on my two extra days. Okay, that's whips. Oh, oh, I got a whip. Okay. For September Sampler Soray, right? I'm doing Emily Ann Foster by Hands Across the Sea. And it is on 18 count Dovis. Dovis? Dovos. D O V O S. Dovo. Okay. Dovos. Ivory. And that's where I am so far. And I'm using. DMC number 115 is a variegated. So, yeah, it's kind of fun too. That is, that's beautiful. I like the way it's variegated, yeah. Yeah, so it isn't just, I don't have to change threads, but it's not just red. Right, it's different shades. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So now we move into haul. <laughs> <laughs> yep, get your beverage and I'll hanker down. Uh, okay. Um, we went to several different places the last few weeks. We, um, I mean, I can start with my husband and I went down. It's called Gold Rush Days down in um, Rochester, Minnesota. And the fairgrounds is an antique show for a weekend. And it's always the third weekend in August, right? Correct. And then also the town Orinoco, the whole town is antiques too. We didn't go to that because of his ankle. He's not totally healed yet. So we just went to the Gold Rush Days in um, Rochester. And the only thing I got, I found this velvet strawberry. And it's big. It's pretty big. But I thought it was really cute. They had lots of tomato pin cushions. They were anywhere from $50 to $200. I'm not going to buy a pin cushion for that. Must have been good ones. They, I did. They look normal to me. <laughs> I don't know what the thing was. but um, And then we went down to Stitchery Nook um, one day and we met. when We, we took a class from... Um, Kathy Haberman, Hands on Design. Right. And that was at in Osage at the Stitchery Nook. And our table mates across from us were Charlotte... <laughs> and Mary <laughs> and Chicken Eye. <laughs> yeah, Chicken Eye. They went, they, we've been trying to get back together with them. So we did. We went back down to Stitchery Nook and met them there for a day. And Stitchery Nook has this, it's almost like a dining room table in the front of the store. Their upstairs stitching area was full. So they let us stitch at this table all day. So we met Mary and Charlotte there and had a really fun time. It was a really fun day. And we stitched all day with them, and we had lunch with them. And then, of course, you're in a cross-stitch store, and you buy stuff. Well, you know, you got to get up and stretch and walk <laughs> around after been sitting there cross-stitching. Right. Um, go ahead if you want to. Oh, well, I bought mostly, um, sorry about the crackle. Uh, I bought this pattern. I have the other three seasons. And I'd like to do it like what my Biddy Barnes have them all. Um, then I bought uh, Mill Hill, Out on a Limb, the Yellow Bird. It's so pretty. And that's kitted, so it has everything. And then I just bought numerous. Okay, here's Antique Lace, 18 count. 
um, Dusty Road, 18 count. Uh, and then these were just kind of up in their scrap bin. And then I got... Ooh, is cool. Isn't that, that going to be kind of wow. fun for... That's... And picture this plus pansy, this purple. Yeah, it's, it is. That's about the that you're getting a good shot there. Of it. I've already got it kitted up, so. Oh! <laughs> yeah, so that's what I got there. And then I had this pattern. It's called Playing with Jacks, and I just love it. It's, it, it's kind of small. It's a small thing. And I had all the thread for it, so then I, I was trying to find a background to match. And so this is 32-count um, parchment. I was going to go 40, but then it'd be really small. So I got the 32 count. The those size are cool pumpkins. Yeah, those are cool pumpkins. Um, they're really cool. I thought that was, and it has a little quilt block one. So It's I, like they're sitting on a mantle or something with a shelf. They are. and there's, there's, you can, I don't know if you can see them, but there's three autumn leaves down here. And then there's two acorns in between. And that might be the color orange that I might have trouble with when I was looking in here. So I might have to make those darker. Oh, to show up. Yeah, man. to show up. Um, and then I found, well, I got this boot. It's called Bobbing for Pumpkins by Brenda Gervais. I think a lot of people have this one. I've just never bought it. It's very cute. I saw it finished. Yeah, that's a seller. And then this is Boo to You. And I always thought this was a boy. And Jeannie goes, has a necklace. That's a girl. <laughs> So I had to have it then because then she has a cute little plaid dress. That's very cute. And then a I, necklace and a dress. Yeah. That's, don't look at me. I don't know. And then I've always wanted to make this sampler. And then so I was trying to find. So I got a half a yard. And that's by carriage house design. Yeah. I like. And I got a half a yard of butter crunch, it's called. And, it, and it, it's it's a little golder than what you're seeing there. Just a tad bit. But does it have a little hint of green? Right. Kind of. Very nice. Yeah, so I thought that was cute for that. It looks pretty close to what the thing is on. You know, that's what you got to try to do is find fabrics that are... And then she had this kit, and I've always wanted this, and I don't know why I never bought it. She had one. One kit left, and poor Charlotte. Charlotte was like, oh, I want it too. So Charlotte, she just texted me yesterday that she finally got, she found one, and it just came. So I told her, so if you want to do a stitch along, we could do a stitch along. A <laughs> start along. Yeah, and I said, she said, well, she didn't have, she was going to look for fabric, and I said, no, Rach, it isn't like we don't have anything else to do, you know, so. Oh, she just got the pattern. She didn't get the kit? She did get the kit, but it just arrived. I don't know where she ordered it from, though. But does it come with uh, fabric? Oh, I thought she got the kit. Okay, then. You're right. I didn't think of that. Yeah, it comes with everything you need. Even to the make pin. It. Even the pins for the top. And it's really cute because there's a little, there's a little pillow. And we saw this, um, one of the ladies that works at Osage, she made this as a sample for the store and it's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. Uh, the owner, Liz, was there that day and the worker, Mary, and they both were so fun to be around and they, you know, joined in with us and... It was a great day. It was a very, and Liz, the owner, she's supposed to be back framing and she kept coming and sitting up front with us because she, I don't know, we, we had a really good time with her. She was funny. Yeah. And she just bought the store next door. She's trying to think of what to do with it. So we were telling her maybe a quilting store because then you have fabric, you know, to go to make the pin keeps or whatever else you're making with cross stitching. Um, so she's thinking, she's really excited to tear into it. Yeah, the process. <laughs> Um, and then our our friend Julie, it, we always go on a birthday trip, and her birthday was in June, so we were kind of late, but we went um, to a bunch of antique stores and thrift stores. She lives Cold in shop. Wisconsin, yeah, we, and so we kind of went in her neck of the woods for the day. Towards Hayward, that's a big area for um, tourists and things, too, those a top 10 quilt shop up there we went to and then it's also in an antique store and and Jeannie found a tomato and it was smaller and she left the big one <laughs> so I had to buy the big one and I think was this an antique store or thrift thrift it was pretty cheap I think it was two bucks 
Might have been a little more. And then I found these. There's that one. Oh, that might have been in the antique store. That was that one. Yeah. I think I found these all together. Look at this cute little one. These are hard to find, these little ones. That little one is good for your scissors. Oh, it is. Right. And then I got this one. Oh. And these were, no normally when you find these now, they're pretty expensive. These were like anywhere from two bucks to, I think this was six. Yeah, Mama, Pop, and Baby, baby. Bear. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> so that was... Did I find anything? Oh, you um, know, I don't think there was one that we didn't find anything at. Right, right. I found this there. It's a rocking chair. I think Kindred Stitcher took a rocking chair and made a new cushions, and so I think I'm going to do that too. And I mean, even came with the scissors... There's a little knobby here. You think that was for a bobbin or something? Oh, bat. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of cute. It's kind of big, but it's cute. Um, and then... I found one of those, too, at at a yard sale, like, on that trip. Yeah, I think that was it for that trip. And then, then um, in the fall and spring, they have a thing called the Unique Boutique. I brought the bow, sure. That's... Around my neck of the woods, there's like 12 shops. Right, and it's like Isanti, Cambridge, um, Bram. And the shops are, some of them are pop-up shops, you know, so they're not open except for these. Uh, yeah, Cambridge, um, Isanti, Stanchfield, Dal Dalble. Yeah. Yeah, and they're, yeah, they are. Some are antique stores, some are pop-up shops, some are, we're, we're in a silo. Yeah. A farm. Quite a few were farms had chickens. Everybody had chickens. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so quite a few farms. I think they do another one during deer season in Minnesota now in November. So I found at one place Joe's something. Joe's Country Craft. She had um, towels. This is a snowman, so I'm going to cut it up and make a bag. It was... Or is it somebody's country something? Pat's Country Boutique. Don't know where I get Joe's from. But anyway, this was a snowman. So I thought I could make a bag. And then this was, um, here's a ghost. And it says boo. And again, it's it's just one of those towels. But I'm going to cut it up and make a bag. And then she had these. these oh, this one was $2.50. These were a buck ninety eight ninety five, and here's a little pumpkin, and here's another little pumpkin, and here's another. I thought I for my Halloween tree, I'm I'm gonna hang them, that make them ornaments. I thought they were pretty cute because they're were all, they outside or inside? They were inside on the left side. Okay, um, that's a place. That farm. It's a farm. But it's got the little house, and then you kind of walk down into. Yeah, you kind of, um, on the right side, she had all of these. There were all of these, and there were pillowcases and stuff. And then on the left side, she had, like, stuff like this. Okay. Um, and then I found this. Was this a unique boutique? I think so. It's just a little enamel tray. I thought that'd be really cute for pin keeps. And it has a little handle. And it's oval. Does that usually go in a roaster? I think so. It's like you put it inside for like your little turkey breast or whatever. Mm -hmm. For yep. drippings. For picking it out. Yep. And then these, I've been looking for one of these forever. And it's like a doll um, to hang stuff on. And what I want to use it for is to put strips of fabric on when I'm sewing because then you can even have it up on your um, table and pull your strips. I've always wanted a small one that you can just, you know, put on the table so you can have it right by you and just keep grabbing your strips. And this is in really good shape and it was very reasonable. I think that. What about the sewing bird? Did you was that there? The sewing bird. Yeah, the the bird you found me with the scissor in the head. Well, I'll just show it. Eenie found this for me, but I don't remember where we were. That was at the junk bonanza. Oh, okay. This we were in a booth, and she found. 
this and she already has one so I'm gonna kind of sand his wings and stuff and kind of clean them up a little bit but he was kind of cute your scissor comes out you can put a little smaller scissors in. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> That's big honking. I got more old scissors. It looks dangerous. <laughs> I know. These big scissors. Um, and then at the junk bonanza, I found this little guy. So I'll make a pin cushion out of him. I thought he was very, very cute. He was just a little, just a little planter. And then there's a lady at the junk bonanza <laughs> that... We go to, she's the purple pin cushion. I thought I kept her. But she makes pin cushion things out of old vases. And this one, oh my gosh. I just, this was beautiful to me. And then this one also she had. So I like I, how she did the, the threads on top of that one to make it. Oh, to go. Kind of like a, a tomato or pumpkin right. or whatever. And she always puts a nice trim around them. They're very cute. Very, very, very cute. Did you get the acorns? Um, I think I did, didn't I? I think I did. She had taken caps from acorns and made um, felt or uh, wool. Oh, and she made these too. We got these. She takes old pillowcases and stuff and makes stars out of them. So those were very cute. Um... Yeah, here's an acorn. It's a big acorn. Yeah, but then she uses sweaters and stuff to put in the bottom. We should have bought those ones. We we were in another booth later on. They were a buck a piece, and we should have bought some. I think. Yeah. You just walk right by them. But these are very cute. This is huge. I've never seen an acorn that big. Not in Minnesota, anyway. And then... Um, uh, buttermilk Basin is by us and she does a lot of wool and quilts oh is this should i wait oh, this is hall okay oh yeah um she had so, a booth at this um junk bonanza junk right. bonanza is held a couple times a year and it's down in shakopee at our horse racing track it's called canterbury downs and it's Usually it's horse racing, gambling, but they close down a few. Because now in November, they'll have a craft show, too. And then I think they're going to do the Junk Bonanza again in December. They were showing that on Instagram. Oh. But then there's this. It's wool. This is a wool pumpkin, and she had it on a spool. That's at Buttermilk Basin? Yeah, that was Buttermilk Basin. And then again, here's another little pumpkin, and an, I think this is a sweater. Doesn't that look like a sweater? Yeah. I do believe that's a sweater. Um, and then here's a little wool pumpkin. Again, I'll hang it on my, um, and then here's a little ghost. And I thought I'd squirt some tea dye on him to make him look a little older. And I might do it to the pumpkin too. I don't know. Um, and then this is an ornament, hoot and pumpkin. This is the pumpkin head. And she had these hanging, and then so you get the whole kit. And that's kind of nice to pick up the whole kit of those. And then here's a little pumpkin, or a little ghost with a pumpkin. Same thing. Whole kit. I got the witch with a cauldron and cat. And then we both got this. This is several. It's five. Pillows. Like pin keeps. Yeah. Pillows. And again, it's a kit. You get the whole all of the stuff. thing except for the stuffing and the Yeah, pen. and the stuff. Yep. But there's, um, there. Is that pretty good? Oh, I can take it out. Let's see. If you want to see it. Oh. <laughs> plastic and plastic. Doubled. <laughs> That's kind of funny. <laughs> there. Is that better? So there's a ghost. There's a house. There's a pumpkin. There's a cauldron. And there's a witch's hat right there. I knew there were five. So that's, that was our, is that it for John Bonanza? I think. I think so. Um, and then just regular haul. I belong to that um, country samplers. I think they're calling it the... Anyway, it's Stacy Nash it drum? and it's no. drums. It's drums. I don't know what the group, I think some of them are calling Little Women's Club or something. Is this four times a year? 
Uh, yeah. And this is the third one we've gotten. And it's called the Big Blue House Pin Keep Drum. And I, you know, it's like anything else. You won't get it now, but you'll probably get it next year. But it's a whole kit. And don't you just love the way they make their kits look so pretty. But I just love it because it's a blue house. My favorite color is blue. I don't know if you can see it there. So the drum, that's the top of the drum. It is the top of the drum. Okay. But then there's, she's got ruching here. I don't know. We'll see. When I dig into it, we'll see. Um, and then I got, um, this is from 123 Stitch. I just ordered these because they had a sale. So um, here's Old Glory. It's just a little, what do you call that, a pin keep? Oh, part of it. You can't yeah. see the whole thing. No. It's small. It's yeah. not very big. And then I got Comfort and Joy from Abbey Rose. I must like Abbey Rose because I buy a lot of Abbey Rose. And then I got Pumpkin Please by Erica Michaels. And it's oh, kind of cute. some color to it. Yeah, and it has a little wool on the bottom. And then if you look in the back, there's a place to put your scissors. Oh. Cute little wool. And then this is, um, I saw Lori Holt. She's making, if you watch Lori Holt, she's making um, a red sampler wall for all of her. She has four great grandmothers, four grandmothers and her mothers. And so she was looking at these for, I think, starting her mothers. And they're all going to be red. And I just, this was so cute. I just had to have that. And mine, of course, it probably won't be red, it'll be blue. And then this, I saw somebody on Floss Tube and I was going to look it up and I didn't have time, but it's called On, on Prudence and it's by Plum Street Samplers. And boy, when I saw that, what does Laura say? Shoom. <laughs> it was a shoom. <laughs> I had to have it. It was beautiful when you saw it in person. It was. It was absolutely gorgeous. And then on Instagram, a lady had won all of the blue ribbons. I don't know how many, three or four. However many blue ribbons you can win, this woman won. At where? Minnesota State Fair. Oh. And she had done this sampler. And it was gorgeous. It was absolutely gorgeous. And it's called Virginia, a Cumberland County Inspiration. And I guess it's by Heart's Ease Exemplar Works. And I guess she does all of the 13 colony ones. So there's one, is there one for Maine, one for there. Anyway, if you go look at her website, she has a lot of different samplers. This thing was absolutely gorgeous. And she had won every blue ribbon you could win. She had blue ribbons all over it. It was gorgeous. It was like, oh my God, I have that. Did you go to the state fair? No. Oh. It was on Instagram. She showed oh, okay. on Facebook. She might have been on Facebook. But. That's a lot of stitch in there. Yeah. Is it, it a lot her, of one over one? Um, I don't, I'm sure the words are. I don't know. But, but the border is a killer. I mean, oh my God, that's beautiful. And that house. And it has, I, I don't know if you can see it, but the house has like little bells on it. I mean, it's gorgeous, and it has an alphabet, and it has pictures. I mean, it's it's just it's looking at the the floss that's called for. <laughs> Look at the floss. <laughs> There's a ton of floss. It's gorgeous. It's huh. I don't know, but that, it's gorgeous. Oh no, I was I was thinking it was a PDF, but it's not. No, uh uh. There's a lot of charts there. <laughs> yeah, a lot of pages. A ton of pages. And then Jeannie, had you showed this last nope. time? No, oh. I got it here. Um, who? Linny from uh, Sable Stitchers had is doing these pillows. So then we bought the patterns because we thought they were so cute. So thanks for the yeah. Linny. Thanks for the what do we call it? Heads up. Not a heads up. Recommendation. Um, what enabling. <laughs> enabling. Um, enabling. That's what I was trying to think of. Enabling. Enabling. Yes. Enabling. Yep. I got mine too. Um, and then of course Expo. We finally got all of our Expo stuff. And I ordered the Little Red Schoolhouse, which I just love. I want to start this right away. And it's funny you go on to, um, I ordered the floss by Leo and Roxy. 
It's called F-A-L-U Red. Falu Red? Falu? Um, and then their fabric is called <laughs> Peanut Brittle. Of course, it's out of stock. So I'll have to find something similar. But it's cute. That's very cute. And then A Witch in Her Garden. Oh, my gosh. What? What, what do you not love about a witch in her garden? And I bought some little gourds out for the out in the front of the house, so I'm going to save them. I'm going to cut out the, the stems oh. and dry. I think you just let them dry. Because I was thinking, what, I was going through and buying all these little gourds and little pumpkins. I thought, okay, which one has a cool stem? Which one has a cool stem? And then I got uh, Nikki's creation. It's called the Needle Book Stitcher. It's just a little needle book. Um, and then another Brenda Gervais, Joy and Good Cheer. I mean, I think you guys have all seen all this stuff. This one. This one. And it's one of the top ones at Keepsake. Yeah, and Missy, she on Instagram was going, oh, my gosh, and I was right with her. It's like, oh, my gosh, this is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Two needles pulling thread, Missy? Yes, two needles pulling thread, Missy. And then the dressmaker sampler. Um, I won't do that white for sure. I'll put something else in there so you can see it. But that's beautiful. And then I have all of the days. This is the seventh day, and we like the trees, and she puts them in those. We we bought we bought in a bunch of these to make these old trees. Flower frogs. Yeah. Then this one I just love too. It's in the shape of a witch's thing. The needle notion. It's called hoot and a boot. That's so cute. It has a kitty. Gotta have the kitty. And then the Autumn Cloche by Hello by Liz Matthews. That's, that's genius. I don't know. How do you think of these things? I don't know. But I'm glad they do. And I just love these guys, the three witches. It's Bewitching Trio. I have I collect Santas, and so I bought the Santas last year because they had a Mr. Santa and a Mrs. Santa holding a sampler. So I really want to do those. Uh, maybe as we get closer to Christmas, I'll show you some of my Santas. But this is, of course, hmm. Teresa Colgate's Halloween thing. And oh my gosh, that sampler. Hmm. And everything in the book. I mean, oh my gosh. She's another genius. Thank you for your genius-ness. Because <laughs> I couldn't do it without you. Because <laughs> I wouldn't have anything to do. <laughs> did you bring your haul for I did. Expo? I did. Um, I got the Punch Needle and Primitive Stitch Magazine. Um, and then I had just ordered some charts from Welcome Stitchery. Um, this one here, I've, I've already kitted it up with that pansy fabric, but it's probably haunted, um, by Little Stitch Girl. And it says, if one door closes and another opens, your house is probably haunted. <laughs> so that kind of reminds me of the old farmhouse that was on the property that we're living at now. Um, oh, her grandchildren didn't like going in it because they thought it was haunted. Well, my son lived there for 20-some years, and that's what he, he would tell stories about, you know, the ghosts and stuff. So our granddaughter there, I mean, she'd go to the bathroom in the woods rather than go in the house and use the toilet. Yep. So, and then I've got, I got the um, Hands on Design Autumn Baskets pillows. Oh, you already got it kitted up. Well, I've got the, got the floss. And then I stitched some Happy Hands on Design. That I got already. And then this one here wasn't a market. Oh, but cute. Is it cute? Oh, that's cute. Wow. Yeah. So I got... Him ready to go. And then when we were doing um, the unique boutique around the area, one place I went to, I got an apple breadboard. And it's probably dinner plate size. So I needed an apple chart. So I went online. Oh, cute. And got that one. Look at the apple. Isn't that fun? Oh, my gosh. The pattern in it. Yeah. That's very cute. Oh, and the leaves, too. Yeah. Wow. So I got that that kitted up ready to go. Oh, wow, that's bright. That is really cool, all those different patterns. Yeah. So that was my haul. I didn't do too much damage. Um, the last thing I have is something I ordered, and I just got it. So I... Um, I got to use it a little bit last night. 
and I do like it. Um, it's a stitching, it sits on your lap. It looks like this. How heavy is it on your lap? It's not, you know, I don't even notice it. It's kind of funny. Oh. You would think you would feel it, and I don't. It's kind of distributed. This is like 22 inches long. You can get a 36 inch long one. Um, it comes with these rods and you get 18 inch ones and then you get 20 inch ones too. And they have holes on the side so you can adjust them. And then I ordered it with a light kit so you can put this bar across it um, and then you can hang your lights or magnifiers or whatever you want. Cause I thought if I take it anywhere um, you know, because you can put it on the table and you can stitch it. And what I like about it, because the other one things I've tried is everything is attached to your hoop or your... Okay, so what are these for? These are for, you lay your hoop. So like, where did I put my... Um, where is my sampler that I was working on here? So like with your hoop, woo! <laughs> You can lay your hoop or your uh, Q-snap or your uh, scrolls. You can use scrolls. Um, and what you can do is you can adjust it lengthwise for you, but you can also adjust it. And if you see on the bottom, there's sliders. So you can slide these all the way out. So like if you have a scroll bar, you can set your scroll bar on it. And these knobbies are really tall because a lot of them I've been looking at they're really short and things fall off but this is very 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 adjustable was it on Etsy no it's um it's on Facebook and the lady's name is Bonnie Hope and it's called the Hope Lap Stand and again this one is 22 you can get a 36 and then her husband also makes her husband makes these and then her husband also makes a floor stand that you would attach these to if you want a floor stand. And then he also makes longer things if you need longer of these. Um, and I, I, worked, I worked with it for about three hours last night and I really like it because my work sits here and it sits really good so I can do under and over, under and over. But what I like is when it's time to do your to put your stitches in, you just pick up your work and put your stitches in and start your new one and then set it back down. That's what I like about it. Because everything else attaches and it, you know. To flip you, it over. Yeah, you, to, to flip it over and stuff, it gets weird. And I've been looking for a while and I thought, well, I'm going to try this. I mean, I've tried other things. And so far, I really, really like it. And it's very well made. He makes them. Um and again, it's Bonnie Hope. It's a Hope lap stand. You can H -O -P -E. go H-O-P-E. H-O-P-E. You can go on um, Facebook. And if you're looking for any kind of stand, I belong to a group. It's called Cross Stitch Stands and Frames Group. And I think you just have to answer the typical three or four questions. And you can um, be a member. And then you can see what everybody, you know, people have lorry stands. They have all kinds of stands. And again, he makes a floor stand. He has a light bar, and it's also a 36-inch stand. So. so this one here, that is 20... It's 22, I think. 22. That fits between the arm of the chair. Yeah, it does. It fits really nice in my chair. I have no trouble at all. And I like, too, the flexibility. I can slide it forward, slide it backward. And you can tighten everything, but not so tight that you have to always be playing with your knobs. I mean, you can tighten it that tight. But what I like is I can have it a certain tightness, and yet I can still move stuff if I need to, and it stays where I put it. I don't know. Just for me, I really, so far, I like it a lot. It's kind of interesting. So, so when you have that on your lap, then your chart is off to the side? You got yeah, another... I have one of those armchair trays mm -hmm. from Not Forgotten Farms. Yep. And I have my chart sitting on that tray. Okay. And so I can see. And I'm sure you could, on the light stand, I'm sure you could attach your pattern, you know, with some kind of oh. gooseneck sort of thing. You could attach your pattern to this, too. So I just like the flexibility of how it slides back and forth. And you can angle it. You can keep it straight. A lot of women, if you go on there, if you go on the Bonnie Hope one, you'll see a lot of women have scroll bars. They have um, Q-snaps, all kinds of stuff. But I, I've been looking for a while. So far, I really like this. This is, we'll see. <laughs> I can see for a bigger hoop that's cumbersome. 
to have that setting in there or Q-snap or Well, scroll I was plane. looking for smaller hoops, yes, but I was also looking, sometimes I use a Q-snap or something, and I think I would more use a Q-snap. I don't use Q-snaps a lot because to me, when you're doing one-handed stitch, I know I'm a slow stitcher, and you think, okay, I'm losing time every time I go all the way around that Q-snap. Mm -hmm. I'm losing time. That's why I generally do hoops. And on this, I could use a Q-snap because I'm going up and down. So um, I, it's going to be more flexibility for me. You can take it to classes and set it on the table and still use it. And you've got a little bar there for your light and your magnifier. Yeah. We'll see. I just, I'm trying it. And last night, I really did like it. I, I liked it a lot. So we'll see how... I, if I keep using it. But I've tried three, four, five different things. So. Who knows? <laughs> okay, we'll move on to plans. Um, my birthday's in January, and that's the middle of winter. And I want to really go down to Amana and Kelowna, and I really want to go to Williamsburg to the Wool and Needle. They have wool in their quilt store, and it's Civil War, and it's just my jam. Um, so we're going to go in October instead because Amanda kind of shuts down in the winter, Jeannie says. I haven't been there, so I don't know. So we went through it when we went to Paducah one year for, um, we went down to the Paducah's quilt show and on the way home we stopped or on the way down on the way home. I don't remember. Anyway, we stopped. Kelowna's kind of cool because they have quilt blocks in their sidewalks. So that's kind of cool. And then we're going to go back to 24 Hours of Cross Stitch with Justine um, from Welcome Stitchery. It's November 4th and 5th we're going. It's that weekend, 4th, 5th, and 6th. And on the 4th at 3 o'clock, we're going to do a Zoom class with Erica Michaels on how to finish strawberries. So that'll be really fun. And then we're going to stay through Saturday. We'll go home sometime Saturday evening. Um, I mean, we'll stay in stitch for 24 hours of cross stitch, but we don't stay till Sunday. We go home Saturday after supperish time. Maybe. Eat supper on the way home, yeah. Yeah, and now that you know, it gets darker, lighter. It's not darker, lighter, darker earlier. Earlier. Uh, you know, you got to kind of. Well, and but that will be. I think that's the weekend we set the clocks back. Oh, okay. So. So then it'll really be dark. Yeah, not yet. Because it's that night, during the night, Saturday night, oh, we'll be home by okay. then. okay, so we'll be fine. So we'll get an extra hour. We'll be able to recuperate an extra hour that night. So I think that's about it for cross-stitching. So we're going to move on to quilting. And for those of you leaving, bye. Hope you enjoy us. And yep. like and subscribe. Yep, that would be great. Um, and we'll be back. Yep, have a good fall. <laughs> yep. So we'll see you. Okay, so now we move on to quilting. Um, do you have any FFOs? Yes. Okay. Yes. I do. Right back here. Okay. First off, I made these project bags. Oh, she did. For our 24 hours of cross stitch for strawberries. So I made one for Leanne and I made one for Charlotte and I went, made one for Mary and for me. Yes. And then I made a couple little out of the kitty corn. Oh, yeah. I have that. Um, fabric uh what are the two and a half inch packs called mini charms yep mini charms okay this was a kit we had gone on a shop hop last fall and i think this was elk river so you got to make this and then this little one so i got those finished now this late summer and then I did, this is a, oh, it's a farm quilt. The farm, it's, it's a panel and it's got like six different, a couple cows, couple chickens, couple barns. Very cute. So I just put that together. Um, I like to have, got a couple rocking chairs out on the covered front porch and I like to do seasonal ones or off season you right. have this farm. Definitely the offices. Yeah. Very, very cute. So just to put over the rocking chair or over your lap when you're sitting, sitting out the there. Chair. Yep. It's very cute. And then I got this one here. 
I thought I put in. Yes, I did. Okay. Mm. <laughs> this, <laughs> this You'll see is, why we're laughing in a minute. <laughs> okay, we can just do half. Half, yeah. Half. Uh, tumbling blocks. Okay. I got this kit down in Madison at JJ Stitches. Stitches. And what it is, it's her fabric line. This is printed fabric. It's a panel. It's like well, no, yeah, it's, it's yardage. yardage but yeah. This, but what Jeannie did is she stitched in every little line so it looks three dimensional. It looks like she quilted it that way. Yep, yeah. It looks like she pieced all of these blocks and she didn't. But it was um, the owner of JJ Stitches, Julie Hendrickson. Uh, has a pa uh, fabric line, and this fabric line is called Walnut Creek. Um, you can see that. So, um, she yeah. Took, she took it to our quilt club, and everybody was ooing and eyeing, and then she told them it was just fabric. <laughs> and they I, just... I had to. Leanne knew the secret. <laughs> well, I wasn't going to tell. I would never. But you I, do what you want. I <laughs> let them admire it first. Yeah, they, they were ooing and on that she made that, and then it was. She, yeah. She, she just sewed in between all the lines, and it does. It looks like she pieced all of that fabric together. So she did a very good job. Beautiful. There. That's that's mine. Um, and I forgot we did have a question from Melissa, and she wanted to know how we make a quilt sleeve. And so I just grabbed one of my little um I have monthly things I look like this is November. Yes, yeah, out of the front door. I, yeah, I hang them to the on the I side. I see you got there. October ready. I do, oh. I put it out because I was doing fall stuff yesterday. I thought I'm day early. But anyway, this is my quilt sleeve, and I generally do do the matching of the fabric. But um, what I do is I cut a nine-inch strip, and then uh, what, however wide my fabric is, I your make, quilt, my quilt is, I make it an inch longer out here, and then I fold the ends in. If you can see, they're finished. I fold the ends in twice a quarter inch on both sides, and then I sew it into a tube. And then I attach it. So by hand? Um, part, yeah, by hand. I actually fold it down an inch. It's kind of weird when you're doing it. You fold it down an inch, and you stitch the top. So like this is an inch down, but this is stitched on the top. And then once you have the top hand stitch, you fold it up. And then you hand stitch the bottom. You got to leave that little give in here because if you put like a, a two by four or something in there, I mean, not a one by whatever, like yeah. your quilt rack, you need a little space so that it doesn't pucker your quilt right. or pull your right. quilt. Yep. And in my um, quilting room, I have a quilt hanger that actually my husband made and it actually has a two by four. So I had to make this two bigger. A lot bigger to hold a two by four. There are several YouTube videos how Lots. to make a quilt hanging right. sleeve. Um, Missouri Star has one, and then when you, if you have one of those where you turn the knobs, then that you know your your sleeve would hang up into the knobs, so you would make it up here. Um, Aren't the ones with knobs? Don't they do the binding? Yeah, but I like to see the whole quilt. Oh, so you extend it. Yeah, so I make a hanger so that when you're screwing in those knobs, you you still see the whole quilt. Oh, okay. That's generally what I do, yeah. Um, but there are, there's a lot of different, um, you know, videos. If you go on YouTube and just put in hang, quilt hanging sleeve, you're going to get, they'll show you many different methods, and I'm sure you'll find one you like. I'm sure of it. And then you can pause and do it and pause. Yep. Okay, finishes. Do you have a finish that's not quilt? Nope. Okay. I have lots. Um, I will show you my, first of all, I will show you the one I've been working on for quite a while that you've seen a lot. I have the top finish now. And I don't know how to show you the whole thing, so maybe just a quarter of it or something? I don't know. But this is finally finished, and... Um, there's, yep, there's the borders. That's all I had left last time you guys saw it. I just had the borders to do. 
And so there's big, these are six inch squares, these are three inch squares. And then the center is, um, I don't know, it's a star kind of with half square triangles. Is that how you describe it? There's the center. This thing is huge. But so that's kind of, and this will hang. I have a quilt hanging on the way down the basement on the wall, and it's been there for 18 years. So this is going to replace. <laughs> The problem is there's a window by it, so cup, one edge got a little faded. Faded, yeah. And so now we have a stained glass over the window, which helps. But I think I might even put some of that film, that darker film, UV film, over the window. I don't know. I'll see. Or do you spray the quilt? Um, Yeah, you can spray the quilt with UV stuff. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can. It's like a Scotch card um, type And then thing. on my bench, I, I want to make... Not monthly quilts for my bench, seasonal. but seasonal is fine. So I made this. This was a kit, and this is the kit. Um, it's by Deb Strain. It's called Ghostly Greetings. It's 48 by, by 6. Moda? Yeah, it's 48 by 64, and it's... So is that the width of your bench? That's the width of my bench. So I was very happy. Um, you might... I've seen these in a couple of quilt stores and all, but I got this done. And it's a skeleton. There's a skeleton guy. Oops, this way, huh? And there's pumpkins and, of course, a cat, you know. But this will be on my bench for Halloween, which I think will be really fun. Is this going on that quilting machine next? I think so, because I don't think it'll take me very long. And then I took the skeleton background. That's what will be the back. I ordered more of this, so... Um, that's what's going on for this. Very fun. Very fun. Yeah, it'll be fun out there, I think. The kids will like it when they come to the door. And then again, buttermilk basin, you know. <laughs> She's, I have, the, I've had this pattern for quite a while. And the middle is wool. And then the outer is, um, and it's called Pumpkin Patch Quilt, and it's 30 by 30. And, um... I worked on this, oh, I don't know, the last week or so. It's not very big, so it, but that's what it looks like. So it's just a very cute quilt, and I loved it. I, I used my own fabrics. The kit, I bought it as a kit, but the kit only had the wool for the pumpkins and the birds and the moon and the leaves. Everything else you kind of got to supply on your own. Very nice. So I thought that was, it was fun. It was very fun. The leaves were really fun because you use all different colors in the leaves. And these are sunflowers. These are pumpkins. And she had a black pumpkin in. I wasn't going to put one in, but then I found this really cool fabric. It has orange and black circles. And I thought, oh, that'll look cute. So Yes, very. I did that. Then um, this one I had... This was, Primitive Gatherings has a summer block of the week every year, and they do wool, and they do um, fabric, too, where, like, one will be wool, one will be fabric. And this one, I did several, I started it several years ago, and it's this, and all of this stuff is wool. It's all hand-stitched wool. Here's a closer copy of, like, what a block looks like. Um, and I, I actually, I was looking for something else and I came upon this and I was so close to being done that I took a couple nights and finished hand stitching the, it was the border and it was the stem. See the stems here of all these flowers and you straight stitch across them. But there was one side of the border I never finished. Don't know why. You stopped going to the library. I think so. Um... So I sat and finished it. It took a couple nights. Um, this is big too. Oh, I think it went over the edge. Um, but there's some of the blocks. And you do piano keys for the sashing. I want to get this. And then here's the, the border. border. The border, I love the border. It swoops and comes to these little flowers. And then it, you know, it swoops around again. Can be a lot of fussy quilting. Yes, a lot. And this is all, all the wool is hand. You know, you do buttonhole stitch. And she has you do different stitches for the flowers. So, um, I don't know. 
there's some more blocks and there's a corner but it was fun it was but it took a few years but I'm done <laughs> and then I just bought more of this background fabric for the back just to you know I'm just going to echo stitch around all of these it's, is that a primitive gatherings muslin yes tea it's one of her tea dyed muslins yep it is and then every month you got a little packet of different colored fabrics that you should have you start cutting the strips for your piano keys. Well, you can see how you did the stitching in that flower. Yeah, because there's, you put kind of lines, you don't just buttonhole stitch, you buttonhole stitch first, but then you do the lines in, into it. So that was a few years of a project. Accomplishment. Yes. So I think that's it. I do believe that's it. Um, whips. What am I working on for whips? I don't... I, I guess I just finished the buttermilk one, so I don't have any whips. I didn't bring my whips. Uh, mm -hmm. My grandson was up a week or so ago um, overnight, and I don't know, my grandson and granddaughter, when they come up, it's all of a sudden like, Grandma, let's make a quilt. Like, oh, just like that, you know? So we went down... To my fabric stash and he picked out he just wanted like a whole cloth with a I got thread <laughs> from my quilts <laughs> with a border so and then he picked out a flannel for the back so I got that that done and it's it's a whole cloth with a border <laughs> I did put half square triangles in the corner as cornerstones because I I told him I says you know it's like you as a soccer player get, getting a soccer ball and say hold it you know, quilter can't just... Right. Yeah, so... <laughs> but that's all ready for him when he comes up next, so... Um, okay, so haul. The only haul I have for quilting <laughs> is... <laughs> it's, it's all... That's all. Oh, this is, this is a whip. I'm sorry, this is a whip. I had one of these done. This is a quilt by... Um, from my heart to your hands, it's Lori Smith. Mm -hmm. Okay, this thing's 18 by 24 finished. And I'm going to do, I'm not going to do the house. I'm going to put something else in there. And she has a few other patterns. It's a blue house. I know it's a blue house, but there's no other houses in here. There's no other, it's just flowers. There's no other, like, structures in this. Oh, do you need more? Yeah, I don't, like, all of a sudden you're thrown in a structure. Oh. It's just something in my brain. Looks like a house in a flower garden. Right. So, she has this pattern also, and this is 18 by 24, so I might steal one of those flowers or one of these flowers from, they're, it's all the same size. She has several. If you ever get a chance to go in a booth at a quilt show of hers, oh my gosh. Um, and I had one done. This is the one I had done. And then I did these other ones. So the backgrounds are going to be different? Yeah, all the backgrounds will be different. Here's another one. Um, and here's this one. Do you look how nice that would look with the blue house? <laughs> you really want that house, don't you? And then I have this one done. So I'm going to keep working I on think these. we should take a vote. <laughs> Who you wants? think Le Leanne should put a blue house in that quilt? <laughs> There's something about all of a sudden a house. What? Well, look, a sampler. There's a house and a sampler and then all kinds of motifs and things around right, it. Right, right. But these, you all up? of these are flowers. Do you know what I mean? They're all flowers. Yeah. And then all of a sudden you have a house. <laughs> With trees. I mean, you've got, yeah. I'll think about it. Maybe I'll just make block for you. And it does have a blue house, which is, if you're going to make a house, it has to be blue. So, um, And then for haul, this, I have this pattern. This is called Pumpkins Oh Mine. You can get it online, and it's by Starlight Stitching Company. It has all these pumpkins, and all the blocks in the middle are different. And an Irish chain with pumpkins, right? Huh? So I went one day, I went to Noble Quilting, which to me... Cutting Edge is probably our quilt store. Is that the closest? Rush City. Yeah, Rush City. They don't have a lot of Civil War, though. Um, Noble Quilting is a little bit further away, but she's got Civil War. So I went there one day, and I bought... Um, this is the background. It has orange little... 
I don't know if you want to call them stars or what. That would be for the background of that. And then for the top and the bottom, if you notice the top and the bottom of the pumpkins are the darker. same. They're darker and the same. So what I did is I bought these two things, brown and this plaid, for the top and the side. Because then the blocks will stick out more to me. The block part is what I want to see. So then I bought all of these um, different colors of oranges for the pumpkin blocks in the middle. And then... Um, you didn't have any of this? I probably did. Who knows? <laughs> and then this one I'm going to use for the... Um, there's a, a skinny border before the black. There's a skinny orange border. And I just thought this was really pretty. So I'm going to use that for the binding. And then for the chains going down, you use black and gray. And so I have these two. And I'm not sure because she just puts her blacks and grays. She just sort of mishmashes them. And I don't know if I'm going to do that. If I'll make all the inner blocks black and the outer blocks gray. Or if I'll do vice versa. But I don't know if I just want to... Just sort of put a little... Oh, and then there's a star where they, they join. Right. So I think I might keep that part consistent rather than just mishmashing a gray here. You're not a mishmasher. No, I'm not a mishmasher. Just like Julie doesn't like things off to the side. I kind of like some sort of assemblance. So um, I did find these, and these are really pretty together, and I think they will go good with that. So that's my haul for... And I want to put this out on my bench for November. So this will be kind of like start working on it now type of thing. Yeah, it'll be my... Marching my, orders. Marching orders, yeah. Believe it or not, we've made it through all of this stuff. Now, she did buy stuff when we were antiquing and stuff, and at the Unique Boutique and stuff, she just didn't bring them. So. I brought three bags over already. I wouldn't even... <laughs> So she, don't think I'm the only one buying things, but she just doesn't bring them with. So don't look so innocent over there, little nope. missy. <laughs> Someday when, it, when we uh, film at my house, I'll have more. Yeah, you'll see her, you'll see more stuff. Um, plans for quilting? Well, we're going to go on a one day road trip with Julie in a couple weeks to a, two or three quilt shops. Yeah, we're going to go to Noble, um... And then we're, there's a place, it's called Harris. What's SR. SR Harris. They're, they have cheaper fabric, lots of it. And it's, it's kind of a warehouse type setting. Yeah, it's kind of messy. And, but anyway, they have cheap fabric. So we'll look there. It's a good place to find backings and stuff. Um, and then we'll go to Noble Quilting. And then the Four Seasons Quilt Store. Both of those have Civil War. So she wants to go there. So we're going to do that next uh -huh. A week from Wednesday. Yeah, a week from Wednesday. Yeah. Week before your birthday trip. Yeah. But this isn't a birthday trip. This is <laughs> no, just a day this trip. Is, she needs some stuff. She I don't needs know. some she, backings yeah, or something. Yeah, I think so. So that's what we're going to do. Okay. Yeah. I think that's it, gang. I don't think we have any more. If you have any questions, feel free to ask us. We'll answer them. We'll try. We'll do our best. Yeah. <laughs> Love all the comments. It's yeah, so fun to hear from everybody know, and, and different places. And we look forward to the comments. Though. Yeah, you've all been so nice. Thank you so much. And, yeah. Um. So I guess we'll see you in another three or four weeks. I would say. And so, thanks for joining yes. us. Yes. Bye bye. Bye.